Let's get started. First, you'll want to create a sitemap for your project. You can start from scratch, or if you're doing a site redesign, you can use the Create From URL feature to build your sitemap hierarchy. If you have not watched our video on how to create a sitemap, you will probably want to go back and watch that video first. Once you create a sitemap, click Edit Sitemap in the Sitemap menu on the right side info panel. Next, navigate to the page that you would like to create content for and click the Content tab. Select the content type that you would like to add from the drop down menu. You can choose from rich text, which is just a fancy name for formatted text, plain text, links, images, files, and videos to each page of your sitemap. After selecting the desired content type, click the plus icon. If you prefer a full screen editor, click the full screen icon to edit in full screen mode. For links, you have the option to add a URL link, alternate text, and opening instructions. This is a huge time saver because you don't have to go back and change this in your CMS. For images, you can use the drop image functionality to upload images directly from your computer. Add the image link and alternate text, or add images from the library of images that you have already uploaded to your project. For files, you have the same options to upload, link, or select an already uploaded file. For videos, you can use embedded code that is provided by your video hosts, like YouTube or Vimeo. The content block positions can be adjusted by dragging and dropping them into place. Just click on the bar to drag each item in the order that you desire. To assign a page to a user or multiple users, click the Assignment tab and add the designated user or users, the due date, the time, and any additional notes that you need to communicate to your team members. You can tag pages by workflow status in the Page tab. This adds a level of organization so you can always know the status of an assigned item. Choose from our already provided status levels, draft, publishing, pending, complete, incomplete, action required, leave as is, improve, or consolidate. Or create your own custom workflow identifier using the custom workflow status feature. This workflow status can also be used to filter pages on your interactive sitemap. Your content calendar will populate with the assignments you have designated for your team members. Your content calendar can be viewed by clicking the assignments icon. You must click View All Assignments to see the full timeline of project milestones. Assignments can be downloaded for all users or individually by selecting the user name in the drop down and clicking Export. Content can be downloaded by clicking Download Content in your sitemap menu. Select from CSV, PDF, or Download Assets, which are all of the files that you've uploaded for your project. If you would like to download all sitemap data and content in the same Microsoft Excel compatible file, do this by using the Export Sitemap, select CSV, and select Include Content. Then name your file and click Export.